Welcome back, everybody. Got Anthony sitting here next to me. How you doing, guys? Uh, Tommy took an unexcused absence today from our video. So, uh, you know, we've got a, a permanent replacement. I didn't tell Anthony yet that it's a permanent replacement. I didn't tell Tom that he's off the show, but hopefully he's watching and, you know, it's not going to have that awkward conversation. I wouldn't ha really have to tell him. Um, so one of the main things that we want to talk about today is the brand new American cigar by J.C. Newman. Um, I got a phone call a couple weeks ago by Drew Newman, um, which was, you know, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty neat. You know, offered us the ability and the, and the chance to uh, to sell their 100% American-made cigar That's good. at all of our uh, cigar box and smoke ring cigar bar locations. So uh, we're actually, this is the first time I'm smoking it. Uh, I just lit it up. I've got a nice burn line, great ash going on it. Nice and flavorful. So I've smoked some prototypes of this over the last few years. As you can see, the uh, wrapper harvest on this box, something cool that we're doing is marked with the actual year, 2016. For the first time I probably had a chance to smoke an American, I would say it was about two and a half years ago, maybe three. So this, this cigar has been in the works for some time. For some time, yeah. yes. Um, so one of, the, um, one of the visions that Drew Newman had, Drew Newman is a fourth generation um, owner of J.C. Newman Cigar Company, that's Eric Newman's uh, son. And one of Drew's visions was to bring back to Tampa, Florida, uh, kind of what the beginning of the roots of the company and really the industry as a whole was, which was um, making premium cigars and rolling them here in the United States. The, uh, the, the company's headquarters, so when I go down to Tampa to visit with the company, um, where we actually go and report to is referred to as El Rello, which is this building right here located in Ybor City. That's where our company's headquarters is at for J.C. Newman. That's where our sales department is, our warehouse, as well as where we manufacture some of our Tampa-made cigars. Um, you guys roll, uh, excuse me, you guys sell our Trader Jacks and factory throwouts. Correct. Um, so those cigars are made here. About a hundred years ago, when this building was erected in 1909, uh, it wasn't J.C. Newman who occupied the space, but another cigar company. And in 1909, the first cigar that was ever made in this building was the American. And it wasn't an all-American made cigar, that just happened to be the name of it, was the American. So um, what more fitting way than for a hundred years later on the J.C. Newman Cigar Company's 125th anniversary than to relaunch the American um, the same way it started, which was by hand using premium tobaccos made right here in the United States. For the last few years, there's only been uh, basically a pair of rollers hand rolling the cigar wow. um, in Tampa um, with kind of like a makeshift aging room, um, just you know letting, letting us catch up with time. Um, recently, we've completed a very large historical renovation of that same building. Um, there's been a big expansion in terms of our museum that's there as well as a whole room dedicated to rolling the American cigar. So we're looking at, um, you know, bringing in probably two dozen, if I'm not sure exactly the number, but making it more of a production cigar, um, but will be extremely limited in nature just based on the tobaccos. So just to quickly get into it, what makes the American cigar extremely unique is the sense that there's nothing else uh, that exists like it on the market. Uh, starting with the wrapper, the wrapper is a Florida sun-grown tobaccos grown by the uh, uh, Jeff Borswitz and Corona Cigar Company at the Florida Sun-Grown Farm out in Florida. Um, we have a, 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 the wonderful opportunity to have an exclusive to use the tobaccos in a wrapper here for the American. The binder is grown by a gentleman named John Foster in South Windsor, Connecticut. So that makes that a, that's a Connecticut broadleaf binder. And the filler is grown by uh, the Mennonite family of farmers and that's out in, um, in Lancaster County, uh, Pennsylvania. And um, that is um, also but, uh, also grown by John Foster yeah. uh, in the same family. So you have three really rich historic roots of tobaccos. A lot of history in this cigar. A lot of history in this cigar. A lot of history in this cigar. Part of the vision that takes it a step further was the attention to detail. So um, every, everybody that purchases the American cigar um, we had our uh, we had our um, launch of the cigar back on Veterans Day. What a what a great way to uh, to, to do so. Everybody was able to take home with them a book, um, also hand drawn, sketched, and printed in the United States. Kind of a journey of everybody involved in the in the making of this project. The boxes. I'm talking a little loud here because Mike's got me out here in the middle of a monsoon. This, this is Northeast Pennsylvania doing the, doing the podcast out yeah. here. 
Yeah, it's all right. So I'll talk a little, a little louder. Rigged. It's starting uh, to pick all up the, pretty good. <laughs> all the boxes are manufactured in the United States, so um, we're not, um, you know, sending this overseas in any way, shape, or form. All the bands are printed in the United States, uh, down to the cellophane that the cigars are in are, made, are uh, provided by an American supplier. So, so you know, this is more than just a cigar. This right? is more I than mean, just a cigar. This is a this is truly a, a collectible piece, in my opinion. Like I said, um, there's not a lot of it in circulation at this time. You know, I mean, what do we have? A, a dozen boxes, if we were lucky. Yeah, to kind yeah, of work. It's very, with. very limited, limitedly produced. Um, like you said, there's only basically a pair of rollers Absolutely. right now, which there's plans to increase up to 40. Uh, you know, uh, or 24. A few, a few pairs, dozen, you know? a few yeah. dozen at best, but. If uh, if you ever were a fan of you know trying something of uh, of, a, of a kind of like an heirloom variety, the tobaccos are heirloom tobaccos. Yeah. You know, coming out of Connecticut, coming out of the River Valley there, and uh, you know the presentation of it is just beautiful. So you know I can, um, I, can, I can I'm very excited about this. One. You know, getting into the first third of the cigar, it's a very pleasant cigar. Um, I'm gonna say medium body, really really nice and smooth. Um, I'm enjoying it so far. I, you know, I'm looking forward to the to the rest of it for sure. Absolutely. Any other questions on maybe some of the? No, I got a question for you. Sure. So, out of all the cigars that you represent, do you have a favorite? Oops. That's a loaded question there. So, as you know, I work for J.C. Newman and Arturo Puente Cigar Company. Um, so, I'm going to pick one from both portfolios. Okay. To. to uh, to kind of be uh, to be fair about it, from the J.C. Newman portfolio, I'm very partial to the Julius Caesar, okay. particularly in the robusto size. Um, Julius Fantastic Caesar, cigar. Julius Caesar, also a, a, a extremely rich history. Um, Julius Caesar correlated to J.C. Newman, um, so Julius Caesar was the uh, was the uh, was the founder of our company. He started the company in 1895. So when that cigar was created, again, it was created with a purpose. Um, and the purpose was to tell the story of the rich yeah. nature of the company. So the tobaccos used in it, of course, are going to be some of the, the finest tobaccos that we harvest. Um, and that cigar is actually handmade at Tabacalera Fuente in the Dominican Republic. On, uh, from the Arturo Fuente portfolio, I'm very partial to the um, Don Carlos No. 4, which is a mini bellicoso Corona size um, cigar. The, uh, the nature of that Cameroon wrapper and a small Vitola to me, it's just very flavorful. Um, and of course you have the quality and the burn of, uh, of an Arturo Fuente cigar. And I am also very partial to the Magnum Rosado line, which is another, our, another fantastic, I mean, I guess you're, you're you know, they're, it's kind of hard making a decision on what you're gonna smoke with all is. these great cigars it that is. you uh, have at uh, your fingertips. Uh, I'm, certainly, <laughs> I'm certainly spoiled, but um, the, the, my favorite part is, uh, is, is sharing them, is sharing the stories with all of you guys. Started with Michael, um, so you know, thank you for always making that easy on our part. Well, yeah, I mean, and for the longest time, Tom and myself have been going down to the you know, the charitable uh, foundation, uh, the CFCs down in the Dominican Republic. I think the very first one that we went to was 2001. That's fantastic, yeah, and we've been there many times. I'll we'll um, have to have you back soon because what's taken place in the last four or five years in terms of advancement in the Cigar Family Foundation uh, project. It's just, uh, you wouldn't even recognize the place, the, the expansion and uh, a lot of, and not a lot of that, all of that comes from everybody watching, um, everybody that's come year after year to our toast events, um, you know, supporting us with our uh, Cigar Family Charitable packs, um, which, you know, are due to hit the, uh, the, the shelves here at Cigar Box, you know, in the day now. And 100% so, of the, the profits go towards the charitable foundation. Hundred percent of the profits. Um, like no other, you know, nonprofit that I've really come across or known about, both the Fuente family and the Newman family, um, they overwrite and take care of hundred percent of the operating costs to yeah. run this giant organization. So yeah, I mean every it's, penny it's we raise is, it really is, everything that, that goes into it every step of the way is really impressive. It's uh, it's the power of cigars. To see it in person Oh, absolutely! It's the power of cigars. Yeah. So um, but the uh, the American, it is it is here. It won't be here for very much long, and it will be some time before we have it back. Um, so please, if you are in the area um, and there are any left from our last event, you know, make sure to give Michael a call and check out everybody the else. Room. For everybody else watching, um, we are um, hoping to have the cigar out there, and 2021 hopefully brings a lot of more positive. 
Uh, with the American Cigar being one of them. So we're going to have Anthony come back a week from now. Um, we're going to be doing a J.C. Newman cigar dinner with a, in collaboration with some super rare cigars from Arturo Fuente as well. Hopefully we'll have some of the holiday collection, um, you know, cigars available. So we're going to be doing a dinner and event at Smoke Ring Cigar Bar, which is going to be November 19th. 19th yeah. um, so, uh, you know, see everybody there. check our Facebook pages out for more information or give us a call at the bar. And uh, until next time, I want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, I'm glad to be. Anytime. I'm Appreciate glad I had it. the opportunity here to uh, to smoke this American today. Likewise. Now, we got to get pay, back. Do I have to pay you for this? You're not paying for that, but okay. we got to get back in there right. and sell some right. cigars. Great. So, thank you guys. Thank you.